Hey guys, what's up? So the next poem I'll be reading is 1807, and this is titled, My Jealousy is Paranoia. I thought the concept of this was interesting, and I'm sure there's some of you that can relate to it, especially when there are so many couples out there with different mentalities and personalities. So this is about one boyfriend that is kind of the jealous type, and the other is the complete opposite, the free spirit. So how is this going to work when neither one of them want to change who they are? Can they accept their differences or should they just go their own ways? So that way, there's no deception and heartbreak later. <clears throat> My jealousy is paranoia. You're beautiful. You've always been beautiful. That body, those eyes, that hard chest, those pecs, those lips, those biceps, and the way you smile and dance so seductively, not only all of your physical, but to me, the jackpot is your mind. I hear whispers in my ear saying, I love you. You're like a masterpiece hanging in a museum. You walk into a room and the boys go wild. I wish for your sake that I was different, but I am who I am. And yes, it makes me uncomfortable when they touch you on the dance floor. And I know you're used to the attention, but baby, I'm not. I'm trying to hide it because I don't want to look like an asshole. I know you're just having innocent fun, but I don't know. You would have asked me years ago, well, I would have never looked twice in being in a situation like this because I always knew there would be problems, fighting, suspicion, and constant jealousy. I never wanted to be with someone like you. I was tired of being hurt and lied to. I've been hurt more times you can count on your fingers. I guess you can say... I was always looking for love in the wrong places. But you said that you were different. The day you said that, there was something in the tone of your voice and your eyes and body language that told me this man is not lying. He's telling the truth. But now that we're here at the club and it's way past midnight, I'm ready to go. And you're dancing with your buddies and the guys are all staring at you like you're a piece of meat. I wish for your sake that I was different, but I am who I am. And yes, it makes me uncomfortable when they touch you on the dance floor. And I know you're used to the attention, but baby, I'm not. If you wanted to be with an open-minded guy where you could still have all your options and choose all the different flavors of cakes, I don't know why you chose me, especially when I was up front with my cards. Thing is, you didn't want that either. Thing is, I remember my ex would say the same thing, and I know I shouldn't bring that up, but as much as I hate what I'm about to say, I'm starting to see some of the same patterns. So, I finish my drink and dance my way to you, and I tell you, maybe we aren't gonna work out. Maybe we're just two different people from two different worlds. I can't continue loving you with jealousy. It's not fair, so I wish you the best. I gave him a kiss and was about to turn around and walk away, giving him up when he grabbed me on the shoulder and said, don't be like that. It's just the paranoia in your mind. And we both walked off the floor, ready to go home.